The content on this channel is for informational and educational purposes only. Please contact a professional when it comes to your financial needs. This episode, we're focusing on building your own Bitcoin node. Now, the ease of which this was accomplished or is in the process of being accomplished is not to be understated. I want to give a uh, shout out to the hobbyist miner. There's a YouTube channel. He gave out a great explanation and demonstration of it. Long details on it. Very good, very accurate information. I'm going to show you my process it's similar to his. It's just I'm just going to do some cliff notes of it for my own model computer. We're going to be using that uh, cheap Decepticon PC that we referred to in the last video. And I'm going to tell you price point by price point for each part that I purchased before the download happened. Right here, right now on the Ujama Network. First off, the hardware. We're going to go with the B-Max. Uh, it is a B-Max Mini PC B1 Pro. The B1 Pro has an Intel Gemini Lake N4000 processor. It's dual core. One of the um, bare minimum dual cores that you can use for such a rig. Now, this device came with only 8 gigs of memory. Now, I'm in the process of downloading the entire Bitcoin core ledger to that device but i may grow to regret that um i think you might need a little bit more memory Eh, we'll see but that's what the requirements call for and we're using that right now so far so good i just want to let you know of a few things along with the price point which was about 110 bucks but shipping and handling it came in to be about 117 dollars and that's the basis of your node now this device will come with windows 11 pro already installed the next thing is the drive space and that's what we're going to be putting in next now the b max pro came with a 256 gig hard drive that's not going to be enough for the entire ledger obviously but it does come with an expansion slot for M.2 drives, those solid state NVMe drives that you're going to use for this device. However, I found out the hard way that mine did not recognize the drive once I installed it. Now, there could be some BIOS fix that I'm not aware of. I went in, checked it, tried to see if I can get it to recognize the drive. It just didn't. There are a couple of videos out there that will try to tell you how to do it how i got around this issue i'm and it may come back and bite me in the behind but i went out and bought an enclosure for about 16 bucks plugged it into a usb slot and so far so good the syncing process of getting that ledger onto that two terabyte drive that you're going to be using is going to be days not hours you want to make sure you set aside some time and keep an eye on it because again i'm not sure if it's the eight gigs of memory bare minimum that's causing the problem or just the bmax itself but it keeps freezing during the download fortunately the syncing process picks up where it left off as you're going through it i'm about halfway done in the sync but really and truly this is a project just to see if it can be done and so far it's not really costing me all that much the bmax itself came in about 110 dollars 117 with shipping and handling, $144 for that two terabyte drive. That's what shipping and handling. And then $16 thus far for the enclosure. So you add that up and that's the basis of all the money you're gonna spend. Now there are other options out there. You can use any small PC that you're not using right now that has at least a two core processor or you can buy one of the umbrella machines because we're going to end up installing umbrella anyway but so far i'm really under 300 bucks and i've got a windows pc that i've actually configured to dual boot directly to umbrella and uh so far again so good all right so we got the hardware portion out of the way and that's pretty much the bulk of your cost of what you're going to be spending now if you don't have a usb flash drive at this point get one that may cost you anywhere from five to 15 bucks for a decent size 
32 gig, 64 gig drive. Okay, whatever. That's the only other thing you're going to be paying for in this process is that thumb drive. Now, the software, you're going to need the Umbro OS. We're using Umbro in this case. And we're going to download that to that ISO image to the drive. Cool. All right. Download it. When that ISO image is finished, we're going to use the second piece of software was Belina Etcher. And that's going to take that ISO image and you're going to flash it to that flash drive and that flash drive will be bootable. And that is the only thing you're going to need for software. Then when you boot up to your uh, partition with the new NVMe drive, you're going to use that flash drive, boot from it first, and then have it target that drive. After that's done, you're going to go ahead, boot up to the two terabyte partition, and your operating system is going to be ready to rock and roll. That process was super slick, super easy, super fun, and we had no hiccups. Okay, at this point, we have arrived. I've set up my um, Umbrel account. You're going to be accessing this uh, configurator from any PC in your house. You don't have to use that uh, PC anymore, that BMAX PC. Matter of fact, unplug the keyboard to it. You won't be needing it, you won't be doing any functions on that device. I just left it plugged in to a that external drive, tucked it away behind a TV where I'm storing my mini miners, and I'm letting it do its thing. Now, the Umbro OS is slicker than snot. And I tell you, it is one of those things that, man, I wish everything was so intuitive. Um, it is going to take at least 48 hours for this download to happen, but it's downloading your node is halfway completed. The only step after this is to tell your miners to say, to use that stratum address for your node and start receiving your own coins to your own pool that you're creating. Like I said, every Bitcoin miner should be doing this at this point. There is no excuses anymore. Um, there are no costs prohibiting you getting started because this is within anyone's budget at this point. Um, and you can really start taking control of your own coins. That was the name of the game, right? We're not creating our or mining cryptocurrency just to contribute to a pool and get a portion of it. No, we want all of our coin, right? So why would you choose to do a pool when it's more satisfying and much more savvy to have your own node operating in your own house under your own control? Just the way to go. We're going to keep you posted on how we have progressed or when we finish up probably sometime tomorrow. And then we're going to add the two miners that I have to that pool. You just stay tuned and check me out and I'll talk to you later.